33 weird facts only exist in Poland. Poland is a sovereign country in Central Europe, bordered by Germany, Slovakia, the Czech Republic, Ukraine, Belarus, Lithuania, Russia, and the Baltic Sea. Poland harbors many strange phenomena. Donuts here don't have holes. There's a house that looks photoshopped. It's home to a four, double zero strong dwarf army, and it's the birthplace of vodka, among other curiosities. Let's explore 33 fascinating facts about Poland, including surprising truths about famous figures from Poland that will surely leave you astonished. Number 33. The infamous haunted forest in Poland. When it comes to pine trees, people often think of the straight posture of these towering trees. However, in the Krozyowy Las Forest, also known as the Crooked Forest, located on the outskirts of Nauzanowo City, West Pomerania, Poland, Te a completely contrasting scene will catch the eye of those who have the opportunity to set foot here when the pine trees are uniquely bent into J-shaped curves, which are extremely peculiar and strange. However, this number of trees only accounts for a small corner of the forest, with about 400 trees, all uniformly bent at a 90-degree angle to the north and nestled among the straight-growing pine forest. To this day, no one has provided an accurate answer to the mutation of these pine trees, why they are bent into such quirky yet fascinating shapes. It's all just speculation and woven to enhance the mystical and intriguing allure of the crooked forest. The mysterious Krasuelas forest is the only place on earth where such peculiar pine trees appear. What do you think about this pine forest? Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments below. Number 32. Vodka originates from Poland. Many believe that vodka originates from Poland. Initially used as medicine, vodka production in Poland dates to medieval times. Even today, the Polish continue to produce some of the finest vodka globally, with an annual output of around 260 million liters. If you visit Poland, be sure to sample its renowned vodka. Number 31. Poland isn't just about vodka. While Poland is famous for vodka, there's more to Polish beverages than meets the eye. For example, beer. Poland consistently ranks in the top 10 regions with the highest beer consumption globally. Polish beer is exceptionally delicious, with brands like Zwijek and Tyski leading the pack. Unlike neighboring Germany and the Czech Republic, drinking alcohol in public is prohibited in Poland. Additionally, you can try kompot, a non-alcoholic sweet beverage, served hot or cold, depending on tradition and weather. Number 30. Every spring, Poles kill dolls. You might be surprised, even horrified, to visit Poland in the spring and witness locals killing their dolls. But don't worry, this is just one of the intriguing aspects of Poland. In reality, it's a long-standing tradition. At the end of winter, life-size dolls called Marzana by the Poles are created to be ceremoniously disposed of as spring begins. It's how the Polish bid farewell to winter. Number 29. The enchanting crooked house in Poland. In Poland, it's not just trees that are crooked, there are also crooked houses. Located on Monte Cassino Street in the city of Sopot, Poland, with three floors and a total area of 4,000 square meters, the Crazy Wee Domek Crooked House is part of the famous resident shopping center. Like any other building, Crazy Wee Domek is made of concrete and steel, but with the architect's creativity, anyone setting foot here would feel like they're in a hallucination. Why? because Krozyowy Domek is a crooked house, and seeing it with your own eyes, you'll exclaim that it's truly an extraordinary building. Perhaps tired of ordinary mundane designs, the builders here made the building exquisitely warped. From walls, windows, gates to the roof, everything seems distorted. Some initially thought it was a photoshopped trick until they stood face to face with Krozyowy Domek. Number 28, Dwarf Army in Poland. The city of Roklo in Poland is renowned for its tourist attractions, including vast squares, beautiful historic houses, and majestic churches. But hidden beneath, near the ground level, on sidewalks and around corners, lies an entirely different attraction, requiring meticulous observation for one to appreciate fully. That attraction is an army. Of 400 dwarf statues, no taller than 15 centimeters, scattered under benches, sleeping on windowsills, and lounging in the city's parks. These small bronze dwarf statues are present all over the city. Hunting for these charming creatures has become a delightful pastime for tourists and locals alike. Stay long enough and you might stumble upon an entire society of dwarves including merchants, bankers, buskers, professors and mailmen. 
There's a doctor with a tiny stethoscope, a gardener pushing a small wheelbarrow, and a dentist extracting tiny teeth. One is napping by the hotel, two are kissing in front of the marriage registration office, and 19 are performing a symphony for dwarves outside the city's concert hall. What do you think about these adorable dwarf statues? Feel free to leave a comment below. Number 27. Poles highly respect the number three. The number three holds significant symbolism in Polish culture, representing luck and magic. You'll find the love for the number three in Polish folklore, where the rule of three is often applied, such as with three tasks, three characters, or three characters, or three goals. Number 26. Interesting Christmas customs in Poland. Polish people often eat carp on Christmas Eve for good luck. Most will buy carp directly from the market. However, some still uphold the tradition of raising carp in bathtubs a few days before the holiday. The Christmas Eve dinner in Poland called Wigilia begins when the first star appears in the sky. In the winter in Poland, the evenings are often dark. Therefore, Christmas Eve dinner can start as early as four or five in the evening. During the Christmas Eve dinner, Polish families leave an empty seat at the dining table. According to tradition, this seat is reserved for unexpected guests. It doesn't necessarily have to be relatives or friends, but could be anyone in need of hospitality on this day. Traditional dishes for this day include mushrooms, beet soup, pierogi, herring, and many more. What do you think about Polish Christmas customs like this? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Number 25. Poland is the only European country that never formally collaborated with Nazi Germany. Would you believe that Poland is the only European country that never formally collaborated with Nazi Germany at any level and no Polish units fought alongside the Nazi German military? Poland has never formally surrendered to Germany and the resistance movements in Poland during the German occupation in World War II were the largest resistance movements in Europe. Number 24. Higher education is free in Poland. Higher education in Poland is free for Polish citizens. International students often pay very low tuition fees to study in Poland. The oldest university in Poland is the Jagiellonia University, established by King Casimir III in 1364. Number 23. Polish television uses dubbing instead of subtitles. You won't find subtitles on Polish television. When watching an English language film on TV, the English remains in the film but at a lower volume. Moreover, all foreign films and series in Poland are dubbed by a single man. This applies to all characters, including women and children. Have you watched any TV programs in Poland? Share your thoughts about them in the comments. Number 22. Poland is the world's largest amber exporter. Poland boasts abundant reserves of amber, making souvenir items and jewelry crafted here exceptionally splendid and glamorous. You'd want to own them if you ever get the chance to travel here. Number 21. Poles marry youngest in Europe. One of the most interesting facts about Poland is that Poles get married on average at the age of 25 to 27. This is younger than in any other European Union country. So if you befriend any Polish individuals over 20 who are in stable relationships, start preparing to attend a wedding in Poland. Number 20. Euro currency is not used in Poland. Despite being in the European Union, Poland doesn't use the euro currency. The national currency in Poland is the zloty. While a few restaurants or hotels might accept euros or dollars, ATMs and currency exchange counters are widespread, so you can easily handle transactions with the local currency. Number 19. Polish constitution ranks second in the world. Poland adopted its first written constitution in the spring of 1791, making it the second valid legal document in the world. However, it was effective for only 14 months and three weeks before Poland was partitioned for over 100 years. Number 18. Poland has the first upside-down house in the world. Poland is home to the world's first upside-down house. This upside-down wooden house was originally built in a forest, resembling something out of a fairy tale. Visitors enter through the roof window and explore the fully furnished house, reminiscent of Polish homes in the 1970s. Hundreds of curious tourists have visited since its inauguration in 2007, and you can find this house in the tiny village of Simbark in Poland, a place with only about 500 residents. Number 17. Donuts in Poland have no holes. Do any of you like eating donuts? Comment below. 
If you're used to donuts with holes, you'll find it strange to eat donuts in Poland because they have no holes. Poles find flat, hole-less fried pastries quite peculiar. Therefore, when in Poland, don't expect to find donuts with holes here. Donuts in Poland are always round with a layer of glaze on top. It could be orange marmalade, rose marmalade, or other fruit flavors. Poland also has an interesting holiday called Tlusty Suortek, which means Fat Thursday. On this day, you can eat as many donuts as you like. People often ask each other how many donuts they've eaten. The tradition is the more you eat, the luckier you'll be. Number 16. Poland has one of the oldest restaurants in Europe. Punika Swidnika is a restaurant located in the basement of the historic Roklaw City Hall, classified as a historical monument in Poland. The restaurant has been open since after 1273, making it the oldest restaurant in Poland and one of the oldest in Europe. You can make reservations and enjoy meals at this restaurant, so consider visiting when you're in Poland. Number 15. Poland is a paradise for storks. Can you believe that nearly one quarter of all white storks in the world live and nest in Poland during the spring? Every year in spring, 25% of the total species of these birds fly to Poland. Poles love storks. In many places, they are encouraged to build nests on frames on rooftops or poles near farms. Locals believe that stork nests bring luck, protecting homes from fires or lightning strikes. There's a particular place where these birds like to stay. That's Ziwakowa, a small village half a kilometer from the Poland-Russia border called the stork capital. It's the home of 120 storks, nearly four times the number of people living there. Additionally, Poland is also home to black storks. They build their nests in forests, on tall tree branches, and on mountains or rocks. Number 14. Poland is famous for sausages. Sausages in Poland are exceptionally delicious, especially the kielbasa sausage. Kielbasa is a renowned sausage in Eastern Europe and countries like Poland, Ukraine, etc. It's mainly made from pork, garlic, pepper, salt, sugar, and a traditional Polish cabbage finely ground. Therefore, kielbasa sausages have a very distinctive and special aroma. Has anyone tasted the flavor of kielbasa sausage yet? Share your thoughts below. Number 13. Poland's rich cuisine. Let's explore Poland's culinary masterpieces together. This country not only has famous sausages, but also some very special dishes. Have you heard of pierogi? These delicious stuffed dumplings are a must try when visiting Poland. They're so beloved that the city of Krakow even holds an annual pierogi festival. Besides, when in Poland, you must try bigos. This dish almost always ranks first in the list of the country's most characteristic dishes. Its appearance may not be eye-catching, but its taste leaves an unforgettable impression. Bigos is made from stewed meat, sausage simmered with sauerkraut, honey added with a little cinnamon and cloves to create a fragrant flavor for the dish. All ingredients are stewed tender and eaten with round bread. Zrezi is also a traditional characteristic dish of the Polish people, not only present at major festivals, but also daily in the lives of the people. The main ingredients of Zrezi include smoked meat, breadcrumbs, mushrooms, and pickles, then all this mixture will be wrapped in a thin slice of beef. It's inside, alluring with smoked meat, breadcrumbs, mushrooms, and pickles. Zrezi can be steamed, fried, or grilled according to taste, but all have a very delicious flavor. Poland has many other delicious dishes such as Golabki, Kotlet, Shabowy, Klodnik, you can visit this country to try them out. Number 12. Poland did not exist on the map for 123 years. Poland returned to the map after World War II, after being divided three times by Russia, Prussia, and Austria. That means it took 123 difficult years for this country to reappear on the world map. Number 11. Polish is extremely difficult. In general, learning some basic greetings when visiting a new country will be quite simple, and of course Poland is no exception. However, Polish is not an easy language to learn, and sometimes you will find it extremely difficult to pronounce, instead focusing on Polish pronunciation. Polish is spoken by about 40 million people worldwide and is famous as one of the most difficult languages for English speakers to learn. The reason is the large number of complex grammar and pronunciation. You may find it much easier to ask a native speaker how to say sorry in Polish than to try to pronounce praza prazem. So the simplest and quickest way for you is to ask the native speaker directly. You will learn very quickly by watching. Number 10. English is common in Poland. 
In Poland, English is the second most common language. It is taught in schools and almost anyone working in the tourism industry of a major city speaks English fairly well. You may not communicate in English in small towns or old neighborhoods, but rest assured, you will be fine with many English-speaking tourists in major tourist areas. Many people, when asked in English, will pretend not to understand or hesitate to reveal their accent. You may hear the phrase, sorry for my terrible English quite often, even though they speak English better than you speak Polish. Number 9. Poland has beaches, mountains, forests, deserts and lakes. Poland has rich natural landscapes, nearly 800 kilometers of coastline and some magnificent mountain ranges such as Tatra, Carpathian, Sudet Bieszk Sadi, and Suita Krasiski. Poland has the only desert in Central Europe called Pustynia Bladowska. The sandbanks in the Pomeranian region, the marshy lands in the Bibzanski National Park, and the islands in the Wollin National Park are all special attractions in Europe. These landscapes are sure to captivate you when you admire them. Number 8. Poland owns the oldest salt mines in the world. When visiting Poland, don't forget to visit the 800-year-old Wielicka salt mine, one of the oldest salt mines in the world. It is famous as Poland's underground salt mine, and you will see rooms, sculptures, salt chandeliers, and the entire chapel carved from salt rock. This UNESCO World Heritage Site has been producing salt continuously since the 13th century until 2007, and you will surely be surprised by the history as well as the unique carvings of this salt mine. Number 7. Poland has the largest castle in the world. Poland boasts 16 impressive UNESCO World Heritage Sites, including the castle with the largest land area in the world, Malbork. The Teutonic Order's castle in Malbork is the largest castle in the world in terms of land area. It was built in the 13th century and has become a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Poland not only owns the Teutonic Order's castle but also is home to 15 other UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Number 6. Europe's largest animals live in Poland. The vast primeval forest covering 150,000 hectares is the Bielowieza forest in Poland, the only ancient forest still existing in Europe. It is home to about 800 European bison. These are also the largest land animals in Europe. Number 5. Poland's name comes from the Polony tribe. The name of this country comes from the Polony tribe, meaning people living in open fields. This is truly a fitting name for a country with vast and beautiful fields. Number 4. During World War II, Warsaw was almost completely destroyed and had to be completely rebuilt. The bustling city of Warsaw is called Phoenix City because it has survived through many wars throughout history despite severe destruction. Now the landscapes in Warsaw are not the same as the old town before the war. Warsaw streets now no longer have their original appearance because they were bombed in the 1940s. Afterward, Warsaw was rebuilt using famous paintings of the city by Bernardo Bellotto. Number 3. Poland is the largest apple exporter in the world. Poland loves its apples. In fact, in 2020, Poland was the largest apple exporter in the world, contributing to nearly 25% of the global apple export volume. Grojice is dubbed the land of the largest apples in Poland, with vast apple orchards. Has anyone tasted Polish apples yet? Share your thoughts on the flavor of these apples below. Number 2. Marie Curie is actually Polish. Here everyone knows the famous scientist Marie Curie, right? Did you know Marie Curie is Polish? Marie Curie, the woman who discovered polonium and radium, was originally Polish, not French. Her name was Marie Sklodowska before she married a Frenchman named Pierre Curie. She is the only woman to win a Nobel Prize and the only person to win this award in two different scientific fields. Number 1. Poland may be the birthplace of many famous figures. Poland is the homeland of many famous figures, including the physicist and chemist who changed the world, Marie Curie, legendary film director Roman Polanski, and Pope John Paul II. In addition, Frederick Francois Chopin is the most famous composer in Poland. Chopin was born in Zelazowa Wola, Poland, in 1810. The International Friedrich Chopin Piano Competition is one of the oldest music competitions in the world, established by Polish professor Jerzy Zorawiu. Furthermore, Polish writer Stanislaw Lem is known as one of the greatest science fiction writers in the world. His novel Solaris was adapted into a film in 2002. 
Another very famous person is Nicolaus Copernicus, the renowned astronomer, a Pole who was born in Tauron. He established the concept of heliocentrism, proposing that the Sun is at the center of the universe rather than the Earth. Finally, the great writer Joseph Conrad is actually Polish, and his full name is Teodor Joseph Konrad Nalex Kordzeniowski. Do you know any other famous figures from Poland? Comment below to share. So, we have explored 33 strange facts about the country of Poland. What do you think about the facts I shared above or have you visited this beautiful and interesting country yet? Like me, I'm quite impressed with the dwarf army in Poland. Remember to comment to share your thoughts with me. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to stay updated with the latest videos from us. See you in the next videos.